Greetings Capricorn. Welcome to Wasted Traditions Tarot. I'm Tiffany. I'll be doing your reading for the week of March 31st through April 6th. Come on in here. I've been away for a little while. I'm excited to be back. I'm so glad you're back as well. If you're new, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Okay, Capricorn, we're going to get an angel number for you. Then I'm going to pull an oracle card for your overall energy. And then we will use tarot to get an understanding and clarification. Spirit, what is Capricorn's angel number for this week? Do tell. Eight, 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 Capricorn. Personal power material and spiritual abundance, wealth, resources, force, balance, confidence, material gain, epic romance, Capricorn. Wow. All that is good and pleasant in your life will multiply, Capricorn. Angels are sending the number to reassure you of the prosperity and well-being ahead. Your surroundings will treat you with admiration and respect. Use it for the greater good, Capricorn. All right. Wow abundance wealth material and spiritual abundance material gain epic romance is there an epic romance out here for you let's go with the shaman's dream oracle for your overall energy spirit do tell for a capricorn okay that one wants to pop we're gonna go with that one all right so we have netcaster preparations come to fruition. Wow. Okay. Casting your net. Confidently casting your net. Preparations come to fruition. Oh, wow. So you will gain something. You will gain whatever you set out to do. All that you've been preparing for, Capricorn, will come to fruition, will come to completion. This is amazing. Wow. All right. Let's pull some tarot to get some understanding and clarification. The Two of Wands. Preparation. Two of Wands is planning. Planning your life, planning your destiny, planning to take the next step, Capricorn, Two of Swords, okay? The Hierophant and the Four of Cups. All right, so again, with this Two of Wands, you are making plans. These plans, these preparations will come to fruition for you, Capricorn. Stand strong in your personal power. This is these plans are going to bring you abundance, right? Going to bring you abundance, going to come to fruition. So it feels like you have to move on from something. You you're planning, are you who are you? I'll get clarification on that. But you are planning to move on from something. And your plans and preparations will come to fruition. You will have success. Then we have the Two of Swords showing up. Capricorn. Hmm. I feel like you're blocking or you're pushing down what your heart truly desires because you want to go about this in a logical manner, Capricorn. And there's nothing logical about this. That's what I'm feeling. There's nothing logical about what steps you're going to take next. Go with your heart. Don't block what your heart desires, Capricorn, because going after and planning and preparing what your heart desires will bring you to success and abundance. That's what I'm feeling with this Two of Swords. Don't block your blessing. And then we have the Hierophant. Hierophant, for me, points to spirituality. And we can gain spirituality through our heart chakra. Yeah, do not block it. And then we have the cross keys here. It's, it's just reminding. This Hierophant shows up to remind you, Capricorn. Do not block your heart's desire. Because that is where your success and abundance will come from. 
It's not a logical step for you to take. No one's supposed to understand. And that's okay because the message and the vision is not for them. It's for you to work with, agree with, come into cooperation with, right? Do not block your blessing. I'm still getting that even with the Hierophant. Go with your highest self. Your highest self leads from the heart. Okay, and then you have the Four of Cups showing up for you, Capricorn. There's your highest self right there. There's your highest self. Look to your highest self. Go into your heart chakra. Nothing logical about what's ahead of you, but it's absolutely fruitful. It's absolutely successful. Do not, do not concentrate or be worried about what didn't work out. I feel, I don't know if this is romantic or job-wise or business-wise. We're going to get some clarification. But what I'm feeling with this Four of Cups, there's your higher self. There's your your guiding chalice, if you will, right? To take you in the direction. So don't block your heart's desire, okay? We have the Page of Wands, the Star, right, right, right. Page of Swords, mm -hmm. and the Knight of Swords. Okay, so with the Page of Wands, amazing. The Page of Wands clarifying the Two of Wands. This is this is an absolute beauty because this the Page of Wands is is saying go ahead and explore. You're looking out towards the sea. You're looking out towards those ships, right? And the ships, you know, they explore the oceans and go to new worlds, right? And the Page of Wands is clarifying this Two of Wands. Go ahead and explore. Give yourself the permission to explore what it is you want, what you've been preparing for. You, you're casting your nets into the Two of Wands, right? You're casting your net. And the page of wands is saying, absolutely, explore what you're going to pull in as a netcaster, right? And then we have the star card clarifying the two of swords for you, Capricorn. This, as I told you with the two of swords, I feel like you're blocking your heart's desire. And the star comes up to clarify. Remain hopeful in the hearts of your desires believe deeply uh in the desires of your heart i said that backwards believe deeply and believe faithfully in what your heart desires knowing that your heart would not steer you in the wrong way when it comes to this this new thing that you've been planning and preparing for and then we have the Page of Swords, clarifying the Hierophant. Again, it's saying, you know, I, I explained the Hierophant. I feel like you're you're blocking your heart's desire. But the Page of Swords comes to clarify the Hierophant, letting you know, go ahead, explore what your heart desires. You will be successful. It will come to fruition. You, it looks like you've been trying to learn new things or exploring information about what it is you want to do. And you absolutely should be doing that. Go with what your heart desires. And then the Knight of Swords clarifying the Four of Cups. Again, I said, here is your highest self. There's your, there's your true north. Do not be concerned and disappointed with what didn't work out because... Those are lessons learned. Learn what didn't work well. Don't do that again. Learn what did work well. Do more of that. And then the Knight of Swords shows up. It's swift action. It's determination. You are determined to go for what your heart desires. Okay, Capricorn? You have to take action. You have to get up. No longer having a pity party. No longer regretting what didn't work out. And take action moving toward your heart's desire is what I'm feeling for you. Okay? Uh, let me see. Let me just get two more. Three of Swords. Yeah, that 
and the six of wands. Come on. Okay. So the three of swords has come up. Again, that disappointment in that four of cups. I feel like you're holding that too tightly. It's time to let it go. It's time to move away from that. The knight of swords is saying move away from it. Take action. Right? So drop the regret. Take it as lesson learned. And do more of the things that did work well. Because again, here's the Six of Wands showing up for you, Capricorn. Preparations come to fruition. Six of Wands is your victory. It's your success. You will be rewarded publicly. People will know that you have succeeded. Okay? Do what's necessary. Lean into your personal power. Dig deeply into your spiritual belief. Move and plan from your heart chakra, tapping into the higher self of the hierophant. Don't block your heart's desire. There's nothing logical about this. There's nothing logical about this, Capricorn. This is amazing. You will be successful. Your surroundings treat you with admiration and respect. I just realized, I looked back at the angel card. Your surroundings will treat you with admiration and respect. That is what the Six of Wands is. It's public admiration. It's public reward. It's victory. It's success. So you absolutely have what it takes to get this done. You will be victorious, Capricorn. Move forward. Take action now. Be, be determined and assertive with your plans. Your ships are coming in, Capricorn. You've got this.